Hello, hello, and welcome to another Albion E video. This time it's going to be more of a newbie video of just uh, killing stuff in the Albionian roads. So the build I'm using is the Great Frost Staff with just uh, the Q, the uh, third Q spam. Not the third Q, the second Q, my bad. Uh, spam, which is just like the icicles. And so basically everything on our, all the passes on our gear is going to be set towards cast speed because this thing has an extremely slow cast speed. But, you know, once you get your cast speed up there, it is, you know, pretty chunky damage and you just keep spamming it and uh most time most of the time in the the builds you want to use in the ambulance roads or stuff like has like a survivability like stuff with self heal like uh, the axe for example like the one-handed axe or uh i don't know yeah like basically every nature staff pretty much you know nature is a really good weapon for abalonian roads especially if you're doing it solo you'll see a lot of people just run druidic staff and uh, it's just like one of the best weapons for doing it solo. And you could even do like some tier 8 stuff and with just a 4-1. With, with how uh, crazy it is. But um, yeah. So as for the rest of the gear we're using. We're using the Scholar Robe. Scholar uh, Cowl as well. And uh, just uh, Druidic Shoes. So this isn't like... I mean the Scholar Robe is kind of necessary for this build. Because it, it reduces the amount of mana that that is required by 70%. While the... Uh, the effect is active and it also uh, increases casting speed as well so it's like a really good weapon or not a fucking weapon, really good armor for uh, this weapon and um yeah like i said so uh, yeah and i'm also the rest of the pieces don't really matter as much because i'm mostly using them just to fame them up i'm uh, currently leveling up all my cloth uh armor specs to a uh, hundred and one and, uh, yeah, so far, like, I got three boots to 100, and now I'm on the Druidic shoes, and, you know, the next couple shoes are gonna be more expensive, and, you know, they add all that stuff, but, yeah, the, really, for this build, all you need with the Great, uh, the Great Frost is just the, uh, Scholar Robe, that's about it. The rest of it, you kind of, you know, kind of do it on whatever you're trying to fame up at the moment, or you could just have everything at 100 and just go for those fame credits. That's also a thing you could do. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, yeah. Going back to the uh, the survivability of this thing, this thing has no survivability unless you have a roast. Like if you buy like a tier seven roast, maybe. But uh, here I'm rocking a tier eight uh, stew just for that extra damage increase. But uh, yeah, if you wanted more survivability, you could take a roast or you could just get another weapon. Because this one, it's all about bursting your enemies before you die, pretty much. So be sure to always have your horse nearby because you're gonna be low health a lot of times with this build. As you can see in some of the, like, the fights I'm going to show here, like, I'll, I'll let it, like, free ball the rest of, like, the whole fucking 20 minutes afterwards, but I just really want to explain this real quick. Well, real quick. And, and in a way that people can kind of, like, play this build if they want to try it out, because I, I think Frost is, like, you know, it's really strong. It's, um, especially in, like, all, all different types of content. Like, in Solos, you know, the Great Frost, the, the Long Range E, the, the Double E you could do that does a bunch of damage. It's, like, it's pretty insane. And the fact that you have, like, the little, uh, the Blink there on the W, it's, like, it, it's a really good mobility. And most of the time, you'll probably run, run Omelette or something, so your cooldowns will be way shorter. So, like, in 1v1 content, it's it's pretty strong. It, it's pretty up there. And, the, like, you could do it in Corrupted, or you could do it in the, the Mist. It's a really good weapon for it. Um, and then, like, yeah, like I said, the Aval you could do this in the Avalonian Roads, but I think you have to do this build specifically with the uh, the Q the uh, second Q spam, because I don't think any of the other modes are, are going to be uh, strong enough to actually kill these bombs. So. It's very limited, maybe, on the Avalonian Roads, but, you know, in the, like, small-scale content, like, if you have a group with you, you could definitely use it, like, the, uh, especially, like, what is it, the, the Frost Prism. The thing with, with the good old, what we like to call the pine cone, which is a big AoE uh, uh, snow cone, if you will. Which, uh, you'll see that in uh, quite a few uh, small group builds, or at least ganking builds that I know of. Because they'll have like a, a mace or something jump in and like group them all together. Then you'll have like the pine cone and a bunch of like, like an, I don't know, like a piercing stuff. Or like a, the Avalonian couch just kind of like beam through it all and just like, one shot your opponent. So, it, it's it's quite useful in the one-shot builds for sure you know like there is a better option out there but you know it's all a, a bunch of shit that i could go into but it would take too long to explain all that but anyways yeah so i mean the the ideal is pretty simple you're just basically just spam queuing uh you might have to know a little bit about these mobs like uh, their timing for it like the spear guys you gotta want to avoid their uh their lunge 
that little uh, purging lunge they attack to do, they just kind of sidestep it and do that. And then as for like the, the mages that do like the circles that'll like one shot you pretty much, you really just, you know, you gotta get the timing down, avoid it. And as for the boss here, the boss is a bit different because this one's really annoying to deal with, especially as a solo because he has such insane amount of damage. First thing you want to do is just interrupt his, that big circle you see at the start because if you don't interrupt it, he'll be empowered and then his damage will be increased and it'll just, you know, smack the shit out of you. So, what I like to do here with the frost, it's my only interrupt ability is the blink. I have to go like run up to him, blink, and then it'll cancel his, uh, you know, empowered mode. And then you just beat him down from there. It gets pretty close to the end because, like I said, he's just wailing on you the entire time. You just gotta. Kind of like hope you do more damage than him, you know, and just out and survive him. And usually, you know, you should win that fight. I, I do fight another one later on, and I end up getting knocked down, I think, twice or maybe once. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you can get to like a bad cycle for the boss where he just hits you with his powerful slam, like, twice. Re like, relatively short timing, you know. So sometimes you get unlucky with the cycle of the boss's attacks, but, you know, you know, strike in. And if not, you know, you just always skip the boss. It's like, it, it is decent fame, and you do need to kill him if you want the chest, but some, some of these bosses are a little bit too hard to do. So, you know, don't don't worry if they're like, uh, if you can't do it. Also, yeah, for something I forgot to mention when you're doing these Avalonian ropes, it's like, you definitely want to kill these bombs out here that are all alone. Because they, they'll give you a decent amount of fame. Like, the, the ones I kill out here are only like tier 4, so only giving like 30,000 fame. But that's still a pretty decent chunk of fame for killing something that's out in the open world well, out in the roads on the little side paths here and um yeah they're pretty fast to kill too so i think yeah if you're going around trying to fame up might as well kill these things on your way and uh, if they're in like in tier 8 zones it's even better because you're getting like a I think like 60 or fifty thousand for killing them which is a pretty chunky fame for a very short little fight sometimes you'll find like the the uh bigger version of these things yeah, other than those uh, those side roads and you definitely want to kill those because then that's like 100k for fame for just killing them if it's a tier 8 you know so definitely worth killing the stuff that's out there by themselves it's a lot easier to do and sometimes like if your build isn't good enough to do the camps you could just go around and kill the, like the solo mobs that's definitely an option out there for you guys and um gee, i don't know what else to go over right now so um i'm just gonna let it play um, you know, just kind of like see what I'm doing. I'm avoiding this, uh, specific attacks, and then the, when the timing is right, I go in. And, uh, you know, even though I know a decent amount of the, of the game, and, you know, I, uh... <clears throat> I shouldn't be going down. I, I still get down sometimes, because, yeah, shit happens. Like, you know, you, you, there's, uh, the monk, uh... These Avalonian monk guys that are just so fucking annoying with their undodgeable knockdown. I tried multiple times. I, sometimes I get it. You can blink to avoid damage. There's little eye frame, like an invulnerability frames, while you're doing your blink. And um, if you time it right, you can block the damage of it. But it still knocks you down. So it's like even if you com like avoid the damage, it still knocks you down regardless. Like it's an unavoidable thing. The only way you can, do, you can like, avoid it is like if you see it coming and you ice block or something, then it goes, there's your ice block for just one attack. I don't know, it's just like the most annoying fucking mobs in these roads. And if they're pair, paired up with like a mage or something, they'll knock you down and then that mage will hit you and just like one shot you. Like I've seen it happen, and it's really shitty when it happens and there's nothing you can do when you're fighting those mobs other than trying to hope, hope that they're, uh, they're not synced up together perfectly to where they'll just one shot you. So yeah, I, I don't know. I think they need to change the monk. That, that, that shit's so fucking annoying. But it, other than that, you know, everything else should be fine. You should be able to do these camps very easy. Like I said, I recommend weapons, nature, any of the nature weapons with like a roast or something. Like the same thing with the axe, like one-handed axe, roast it up. And uh, as for the rest of it, like the gear, I don't think it matters too much. Just take what you're trying to fame up. Don't take to anything too expensive because. If you're doing the solo, there's a good chance, you know, depending on what hours you're playing, there's a good chance you'll probably get ganked by like a group of six or seven or five even, or even less than that. Like you'll just run into another person, but they're probably in like six threes or something like that. Cause yeah, Avalonians like it, it is one of the you know best faming methods, especially for solos or like even for groups. So there's a good chance that you'll probably run into somebody. So don't take anything too crazy. Like I said, I'm showing up here and like I'm in 4-1. I, I do have some spec in my stuff, but I'm in 4-1 and I'm out here doing these Avalon rows by myself. So, you know, if I could do it, you guys could probably do it with like a 5-1 or a 
to go build, you know, fill it up a little bit more and just hope that what you got these chests is worth it. But to be honest, even if you don't uh, get a chest or something and you kill a bunch of mobs, you gotta consider that fame is, is worth a lot of silver in itself. So, yeah, you gotta look at it like, you know, the bright side of it. So even if you die, you know, you just got a bunch of, a shit ton of fame that you're getting your spec up pretty fast. So, it was worth it, right? All right, that, that's gonna be enough for me. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this video, and uh, you know, if you guys have any more you know, questions or anything, then just drop, drop it down in the comments. I'll try and answer as much as possible. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and enjoy the rest.